Hi there, my name is Mark Cruz, and this is part one of our three-part series, all of which will talk about Nikon's brand new full-frame mirrorless system. This is a monumentous occasion as we expand our line to not only include our incredibly popular DSLRs, but now come to the market with our first full-frame mirrorless system. Part two of the video will discuss the new cinematic features and part three will talk about the lenses and accessories introduced at launch along with the new Z mount. And this video will talk about the two different models, the Z7 and Z6, and how these models will fit into a still photographer's bag. First off, how should we categorize these two different models because they share a lot of similar features? Well, if we compare them to our current DSLR lineup, you can almost think of them as a mirrorless version of the D750 and D850, a lower megapixel version and a higher megapixel version. They both feature a brand new Nikon designed backside illuminated full frame CMOS sensor, with the difference being that the Z7 has a resolution of 45.7 megapixels and the Z6 has a resolution of 24.5 megapixels. Very similar to the D850, the Z7's BSI CMOS sensor improves light efficiency, which will maximize the dynamic range while providing amazing low light performance. At 24.5 megapixels, each pixel of the Z6's sensor is slightly larger, so it'll have a slight edge in high ISO performance, and that shows in its ISO range as well, going from 100 to 51,200. One of the benefits of the two Z series cameras is their ability to shoot a faster frame rate. Nikon's D850 DSLR can natively shoot up to seven frames per second. Well, the Z7 can shoot up to nine frames per second right out of the box. At over 45 megapixels, that's impressive. On the other hand, if you really need fast burst speeds, the Z6 can shoot up to 12 frames per second. To deal with all of that information that needs to be processed at these high speeds, both cameras come with an XQD card slot, taking advantage of the fastest memory storage available. But also thinking about the future as they'll also be compatible with the new CF Express cards as well. Both mirrorless models utilize on-sensor phase detection autofocus points, a first for full-frame Nikon cameras of any kind. Each camera provides 90% AF coverage on the sensor, providing wide coverage of the AF points and the ability to frame the subject in a more fluid way. The main difference in the two models is that the Z7 has 493 phase detect AF points and the Z6 has 273 phase detect AF points. Whether you're used to shooting AFS or AFC autofocus modes with your Nikon DSLR, just press the I button to quickly access the AF options and you'll feel right at home being able to switch between AFS, AFC, or the different area modes such as single point, dynamic, or any of the modes you're used to. As a shortcut to selecting AF modes, hold down the function two button and rotate the sub and main command dials for quick and easy access. To learn more about how this new AF system will really benefit video shooters, make sure to check out part two in this series. Now, if you're new to Nikon cameras, you'll appreciate the thoughtful layout and convenient placement of the most used controls, but if you're already used to using the controls and navigation on a current Nikon DSLR, and you've grown attached to the button layout, build quality, and overall feel of your camera, then you won't be disappointed when you use either the Z7 or Z6, because not only are the menu systems almost identical, but the button layout is designed to feel familiar as well. Whether you're looking for the ISO button or the info display at the top of the camera, or if you want to use the eight-way toggle on the back of the camera to change AF points, or if you want to use the dedicated AF on button for back button autofocus, all of these options and more are there along with an incredibly deep and comfortable grip that'll have you telling yourselves, these cameras, they feel like a Nikon. Something else that Nikon cameras are known for is build quality. Now, whether you use a D850 or D750, you know you can rely on that product no matter what the weather is like outside because they're all weather sealed. Now, both the Z7 and Z6 are weather sealed to the same standards as D850, and they're built from a full magnesium alloy chassis. 
These are mirrorless products that are designed to be used right alongside your current DSLR and there's no need to store it away the minute it starts to snow or rain. If you already own a Nikon DSLR, then chances are you have remotes, flashes, other accessories that you want to keep using. And the amazing news is that the Nikon system is fully integrated into the new Z7 and Z6 models. So if you have an SB5000 and want to keep using it as a radio operated remote flash, just plug in the WRR10 and you have the same functionality that you do with a D5, D850, D500 or D7500. Advanced wireless lighting using optically controlled speed lights like the SB700 or SB500 is also possible. You'll just need a commander flash in the hot shoe. From this point of the video, I want to discuss the features that these two mirrorless models share between each other. And one of those features that I'm really excited to tell you about is Nikon's EVF or electronic viewfinder. And to start with, it's a 3.6 million dot quad VGA display so it shows incredible amounts of detail. The EVF is designed to have minimal display lag, providing a similar feel to an optical viewfinder during shooting. Throw in for good measure that the exposure you see is the exposure you get. It shows white balance and depth of field changes in real time, and it provides a 100% frame coverage, as well as has a fluorine coating to keep it clean and even incorporates Nikon aspherical lens elements. All of that means that this EVF will provide one of the most natural shooting experiences possible. Another first for a Nikon camera is an in-body VR system that's capable of up to five stops of camera shake reduction. This in-body VR is controlled by a dedicated VR microcomputer that's designed on a movable magnesium frame which can detect pitch, yaw, rotational shake, and even translational shake. Not only can it be used when capturing still images, but also 4K UHD videos as well. And so for the first time, Nikkor lenses such as the 105 1.4 or 14 to 24 2.8 can benefit from the in-body VR. Just add the optional FTZ adapter and you're good to go. The Z7 and Z6 are equipped with built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth technology that connects with Nikon's SnapBridge app. But one extra feature is the ability to transfer images directly to your computer, regardless of them being JPEG, RAW, or even video. And this is amazing for any studio shooter who wants instant feedback while their shoot is still going on. This video is focused mainly on the still features of the new mirrorless system, so make sure to check out part two or three to hear about the cinema-centric features along with the lenses and new mount. Also, make sure to check out our website if there's any other info you'd like on these exciting new products.